Hey everyone, it's Coral and happy Pride Month! Today I'm going to be doing a super easy tutorial on these Pride Nails. First up, I'm going to do this intersex inclusive progressive Pride Flag Nail. Every set I'm doing today is starting off a base of the gel polish strobe. And because I'm going to be doing lots of detailed lines, I'm going to really soak my brush in each colour. I like to really lather it on wipe it through and make sure every single bristle is covered and then dip back through again. So for that first line I'm just going to draw a super simple wiggle shape. I'm not really pressing too hard on the brush because I'm going to go back through and make that line a little bit more pigmented and cleaner with the second run through. And then each colour after this I'm just going to draw right up next to the previous line. So here with the orange I'm going up so it's touching the red, same with this yellow going super close but super slow. I find with lines like this you want to really take your time to make sure that you're getting a nice clean line. You can also work in sections of the line, so I tend to do the bottom half first and then do that top arch afterwards. And as I finish up with this purple colour, you might want to just leave it here and have a standard LGBT flag, but I'm going to do the progressive flag, so I'm moving on now to do a black line, then a brown, followed by pale, blues, pinks, white, and a yellow and a purple. So these colours all represent minorities within the LGBT community. And I think the representation that this flag gives is so, so important to the community, so I love featuring it quite heavily. So now on top of the flag design, we're going to add some little stars. So I'm just dotting some white detail paint over the nail and with a striper brush, which has been, again, really drenched with the detail paint, I'm going to just pull it to the, through the sides to create a star shape. Adding these little stars is my absolute favourite way to kind of add something to any nail design. So if you've seen any of my nails, you've probably seen these a lot over every single nail. Now in the centre of these stars, I'm going to add a little dot of colour. I just think this helps make the stars really stand out and just look even more extra. And of course we're going to go in with some super shine top coat to finish and just seal all of that in. Now the reason I love this design so much is because it's so versatile with every single flag, whether it be the trans flag, the non-binary flag, the lesbian flag, or even the bisexual flag, you can literally do this design for every single one. So as I personally identify as queer, I'm going to now do this design for the queer flag. I identify as queer in both the sense of my gender and sexuality. I don't identify as cis and I don't identify as straight, but beyond that, I don't feel I fit under any specific label. So therefore, I have coined the term queer. This year will be my sixth Pride since I came out and Pride is so important to me because it was the first time that I really felt that I could celebrate and recognise that part of myself. This year is also my first year having my own space during Pride and I have been so excited to get to decorate and really just enjoy the month as an l -tech and a queer person. It's so important that nail techs are ensuring they are creating a safe space for members of the LGBT community, not only during Pride, but also outside of it. Not all nail techs and not all clients are cis straight women, so you want to be making sure these spaces are comfortable for people who have may not felt that in other salon experiences. One thing is being conscientious of the words we're using, from maybe always using hey girls and hey ladies to hey guys, hey folks, hey you lovely lot. Simple little changes like that can really make me recognise whether I would feel comfortable in the space. 
It can also be as simple as simply putting something out on your social media saying that that your space and appointments are LGBT safe spaces. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial so much. I can't wait to see what flag you will put on your own nails and have a happy Pride Month! Bye!